Good evening fam, our latest will be about the developments of yesterday. ANC is going into government of national unity with the A and the IFP. Let's follow up on that. As we carry on, you can also read some of the comments that are coming from social media. ANC decided to enter into government of national unity with the DA and IFP at the national level. It is not clear if this is still a government of national unity or coalition government since all the other political parties are not part of the agreement. The DA was only willing to work with the ANC and IFP in forming government of national unity. They made it clear that they don't want to work with MK and EFF as well as PA. The ANC's decision to work with the DA is being received with different emotions. Some say the ANC is betraying its voters and the victims of a struggle. Especially those who were killed by the government, by the apartheid government like Solomon Machango. Solomon Machango was executed by the apartheid government on the 6th of April 1979 and he was 22 years old when he died. Accordingly, these were his last words. Before he was hanged, he said, Tell my people that I love them and they must continue to fight. My blood will nourish the tree that will bear the fruits of freedom. Aluta continua. Following all the developments we've seen unfolding in the past few days, social media users are saying the ANC cannot celebrate uh, Solomon Matlangu every year and then at the same time they go cozy with his killers. The actions of the apartheid regime are still painful to the black nation as a black nation, especially those who lost their loved ones during that time. Victims of Wibato massacre, Soweto uprising victims, Comrade Krishani and all the other freedom fighters who died for this freedom would feel betrayed if they were still alive today. Those are sentiments that are being shared across social media. Additionally, the ANC is pro-Palestine and anti-Israel. The IFP and the DA on the other side are pro-Israel and anti-Palestine. -anti and people are wondering how are they going to govern when they can't even agree on the common issues. Please leave your comments down below and let us know of your take regarding what we've covered. And that's all we have for now. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. I'll see you again in the next update. Bye.